on guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is Ernesto Pacheco I own a paint shop in El Campo Texas that's about 45 minutes southwest of Houston it's called versatile coats I do anything from small collision repairs to light restoration work some custom painting bed liners and even some industrial painting as well I'll leave the links down below that'll take you to some of my previous work I like to document all the projects that come through my shop just so I can gauge my progress in the industry. All right, so let's dive into this project. This is a 2022 Toyota Camry that came in with some damage to the passenger side, as well as some dents on the driver's side rear door. After evaluating the damage, I decided to go ahead and replace the front passenger side fender with an aftermarket fender, and I replaced the driver's side rear door with a used door. I felt like this would be the most cost-effective thing to do instead of sitting there and trying to straighten out the amount of damage that was on these panels. Now the passenger side doors and quarter panel, those were pretty straightforward repairs. I just used my stud gun, slide hammer, dent repair kit and got in behind as best I could to straighten out the metal before I went in with some body filler and primed the areas. Once that was all blocked out, it was time to get into the paint booth. The paint coat on this is 089, which is a tri-coat pearl white color. Tri-coat basically means that there's a, another um, layer of, of coating that goes in between the base coat and the clear coat. Um, basically that holds the, the pearl, that gives it the pearl look. After the car was painted and allowed to dry, it was time to cut and buff it. It didn't need much buffing. It was just basically some dust nibs that I had to take care of, but also went ahead and polished the adjacent panels. After that was done, it was time to put it back together. Now this part is very important because you gotta be very careful and take your time to make sure you don't damage anything when you're putting it back together. And also to make sure everything goes back the same way it was when you took it apart. So after it was put together, it was time to give this thing a cleanup. Uh, I blew out the inside, vacuum it, wipe all the areas down, basically gave it a nice little detail before the customer came and picked it up. And that's pretty much it, guys. That wraps up this repair. Uh, the customer was super happy with it. I'm super happy with it. I hope you guys tune in until the very end. If you did so, please drop a comment down below. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends, guys, because it helps the channel tremendously. Uh, we're close to 3,000 people on this community, and I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Again, thank you all, and I'll see you next time. Later.